Wow. Thanks for the introduction. My name is Adibaya Bayomi, and um, I see this as a great honor and privilege to be here. Um, the intro said it all. And I was looking at Kendi Jacob's picture. <laughs> I was expecting someone with a big afro. Then when I saw I was like, oh, we're in the same category, don't worry. So sometimes last year too, until ending, I was, I was on a, hair, um, a full afro too. Well, yes, we had an assignment in there to just change our look again. So what next? Uh, my presentation will be on um, slide. So you just follow the journey as I tell you um, what next, really, what next. <laughs> it's, it's a privilege looking at it from where, where the story started. Um, I'm just a youth like everyone in the room, and that's why when people address me as I say, I'm not I'm just a youth, I'm a teen, just looking for the best way to just um, get other people like me awoken like I was a um, few years back. So what next? And the fact that um, the, the topic I was given, that's connecting with dog, people and culture. So I love the fact that it's actually, it's actually talking about what I do basically, people and culture. I have passion for people. I love people. And culture, of course, is very important. Because the truth is we've, uh, we've left the path of culture not knowing that our stories need to be told. And that's why you see most people, uh, you see most people say, oh, they really want to, they really want to form the Western life. They don't want to be us. We don't want to be us anymore, forgetting our root, forgetting our heritage. So that's what brought about people and culture. So people now, people are those that bring about royalty, loyalty, and humanity. That's just my simplest definition of people. I, that's um, different rules and uh, regulations that, oh, you don't use people's words. So let me bring my own words to this place. Then when we needed facts, I was like, oh, if we need facts from people, from scholars, me, myself, I'm a scholar, because I, I could con a word and people will live to, to, to study the word over and over again. That's how professors become professors. How researchers get to research on projects and become great scientists. So, and culture. My exploration on culture actually taught me one thing. And so I was about posting a picture early this year, earlier this year, and something just struck in me that Adibayo, you've taken cultural pictures. So what is unique about these pictures? What is unique about this, this story you tell around culture? Culture brings about togetherness without any form of discrimination. That was one thing I found so intriguing. That was one thing I found so interesting about culture. Because looking at it from the angle of being in Kano, being in um, Ife, coming here to Akure, telling different cultural stories and seeing the way people come together and there's no form of discrimination. I love that. Because it's during cultural activity to see people from far and near come together as one to celebrate. So why? Why? Because, so that's what brought about, it's the only thing that brings about togetherness without any form of discrimination when it comes to culture. So, and this photo that shows right at the, at the extreme left shows um, an emir in Patigi, that's Kwara North. So that's, I think that best describes people. You, you remember when, when we were coming, we said people is about royalty, loyalty, and humanity. So let's break this down. You could see the man is a royal man. You could see the people behind him. That means they are loyal to him. That's why they have him. Oh, this thing is breaking. That means they are loyal to him. That's why they had to come for this ceremony. That's why they had to be gathered around him. And when it comes to humanity, these three faces in life, my understanding of what culture is about, you know that these three faces in life can't work without can't work that conjoining together and becoming one. So for a royal man, it needs people to be loyal to him, and the form of loyalty is simply humanity. So this other part shows culture now. That's, those are us men in Kano doing, doing a race. So what do we say culture is? We say culture brings about togetherness without any form of discrimination. These people, as you can see, they are together. Like, these people that are riding the horse, if you look at, something I notice is, if you look at their classes, they may not even be in the same society class. Because it's a cultural activity going on 
they have to come together as one. And they are, they are doing it joyfully and gladly. The next slide. So what next? What next? Um, collecting the dots, people are culture. This, um, this, is the, this, is the most, this is the most important part of the whole story. What next? So uh, when, I was, when I was looking through the, or the, the theme, what next? It's, I, kept, I kept searching in my heart. And I was sleeping. I got up for a meeting around 2 a.m. When I was done with the meeting, I said, yeah, I took a picture at the festival last year. That's this Osman. It means so much to me. And I was like, what next? And I called this series Follow the Light. I wish there was, uh, I wish there was a better light to show the photograph because the photograph means almost everything to me as an artist. So I called it Follow the Light. So I was not looking at it from the perspective of, okay, when you are talking about what next and you are telling people that it's Follow the Light, what do you mean by Follow the Light? So I'm just here to tell everyone this morning and um, being a privileged TED speaker, I'd never imagined it in my life. I mean, I'm just working because I want to preserve now for then. Because the story I tell today is the history our children will live to read and study tomorrow. So every story you see me tell today is what we say our children will live and read tomorrow. So follow the light. When we are talking about follow the light, I'm just here to tell everyone that the light simply means follow your passion. There's an urge in you. There's something in you that means so much to you. I followed what I wanted. I followed what I needed most. I followed it because I really wanted to change the narrative from the cultural perspective. I followed it not because... Don't be motivated because of the funds. That's why I love what the, what the first speaker said or what she spoke about. She said, love. Love is very important when you are talking about following it. Because when you are looking at the financial, um, the, the financial value, I'm very sorry, it might not just it might take time but will it come yes it would will you actually make but the truth is one thing that you should see or you should take very important is that follow that your dream that urging you there are great artists here there are great cinematographers here there are great writers here there are great um law advocates society advocates here but you are just looking at it from the angle of okay how best can i do this or how best can i get this Please, I'm just urging everyone today that just follow the light. Because it's only when you follow the light that you can change the world. The world needs both me and you. And the reason why the world needs us is because the coming generation, we need to make the, we, we need to make the country better for them. We need to make the now better for the, those that are coming tomorrow. So when it comes to follow the light, search inside of you. Industrial chemist by educational uh, certificate. But practice for once. Not because I did poor in school, but because I saw an urge. I saw a space that I needed to fit in. And I started following the light by taking the pictures, telling stories. Now when you start following the light, you start having bearing. You start having, you start, it, it may not look at it like first. I've been broke before. I'd, go, I'd, I'd gone on trips that I can't, I, I can't ask my parents for money, but I kept shooting. I kept shooting. Let me tell you a life-changing experience as I finish my talk. So, um, at some point, while I was done with my NYC, I was down. So, and I was like, I had passion for this thing. I'm always traveling. I just go home and tell my mom that, oh, I want to travel, daddy, I want to travel. And I'm not asking them for money. I would just, the little savings I have with me, I would just go. I left, I left where I was working at some point. I was at the presidential villa for like three months. I left. To some persons, it was craziness. Why would you leave? But I knew it wasn't where I was supposed to be at that point. I knew there was more to what I can do. There was more to what I can give my word. I was sleeping. It was afternoon. Then I was sleeping. While I was sleeping and I saw a call. It was an international call. I was like, oh, this is our boys. They don't start again. You know, if you calm me. I don't get anybody away from coming from U.S. now. So the call came again. I said, so I named it the call. So when the call came again, like, oh, really? Ah, what's this? I picked the call. They were like, hello, are we speaking to Adibaya Biomi? I said, yes. You're on to Adibaya Biomi. They said, oh, we, need, we have to do an assignment in Nigeria, and we think you're the best person to do it. I was like, 
you need to do an assignment in Nigeria and you think I'm the best person to do it. How now? Waiting, I don't see. Then they were like, okay, we checked your profile. Proud that time, I don't even have a website. I was just posting on my Instagram. But you know one thing I was doing every time I was telling stories? I was telling the story genuinely. Like, your genuineness matters when you are trying to give back to humanity. As I went, I did a dream project. I had 50,000 in my account. And I was going to, and we're just going to send children back to school, get them their stationaries, get them school uniforms. I didn't look at what was in my account at that point. It needs to be done. I have a tool. The same way everybody in this room has a tool to change the world. You have a tool to change the world. And they were like, oh, you need to do this. And I'm like, okay. The craziest thing why I named it the call was because before I started talking, say, what's my word? I told them my word seriously because, of course, as a Nigerian guy, I want to do work. They talk, say, okay, what's the word? I said, my rate is, uh, let me say, 70000 a day. Went, the guy was like, why are you so cheap? <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's been sincere. But you know one thing I want you to know? The person that will see you and I am for your value will come once you are genuine with what you do. It's possible I told them my rate was 500000 a day and they would have said, okay, can we beat it down? You know what the guy did? He happens to be my mentor till date. He works in the company. He said, Adibayo, should I be sincere with you? My company has the money and you have the work. So he was like, I will guide you through a proposal how you will get this work done. And when he guided me through the proposal, it was from Ilori to Oshogbo. And let me just tell you the short part of the story. Per day, they were booking accommodation for 150000 That was how much the company paid per day. And I was like, okay, if I go to Oshogbo, the best 10 or what not star hotel that will be in Oshogbo might not be more than 50000 But they were booking 150000 Per lunch, they were booking 25000 which I won't chop. <laughs> then they were like, oh, are you going to fly to Oshogbo? I said, no, I, I was going to get a cab. They said, okay, the cab, 200000 I'm like, <laughs> you know, but you know the honest truth. It just come automatically. It came because I was passionate with what I do, and I just did it genuinely. And while I was done with the project, while I was done with the project, we are still talking on follow the light. And I want you to know that there's something in you that can change the world. While I was done with the project, they told me something. They said I'd never told anybody this secret. And please, when you are trying to pose, it, cut this part. It's just for it's a secret for everyone in the room. Then when we're, when we're done with the uh, project, the guy told me something. He said, okay, you did for Oshun. There was another person that did for uh, the northern side. And when I checked the value, your money was quite cheap. I was like, ah, we thought this money wouldn't pay me. This accommodation, everything is cheap. It was not like, okay, Bayo, we need you to talk in a lunch and learn. And I was like, okay, you need me to talk in a lunch and learn. So I'll, I prepare. So how much will you charge us for a lunch and learn? I said, oh, don't worry. You have to just pay me. Pay me 100000 I was like... Bio, why are you doing this? You are going to do a lunch and learn, and you are going to share your, uh, you are going to share these pictures on your Instagram and do. You have to, you have to collect money for these things. I'm like, ah, Instagram page where beside they post picture for free. I posted three of their pictures, and per pictures cost five hundred thousand to share my page. At that then, I just had five thousand followers on my Instagram. Now, they asked me to talk. While I was talking, it's lunch and learn, I spoke for just 30 minutes. While I was to done talking, they said, okay, thank you for everything. And um, when the money came, that was the first time I ever owned a domiciliary account, $6,000 to talk. And now, what next? The, someone asked a question. They've, people have criticized my, my style of photography. They tell me, I tell, someone at once told me that, but why do you tell such stories? I said, I'm not telling sad stories because every story I tell, I go back to the community to make changes. Then the person asked one thing. He said, Adibayo, how are you able to balance between... That was the first time I actually heard that, okay, these people were telling their stories. They are vulnerable. How are you able to balance between vulnerability and humanity? Vulnerability and humanity still takes us to what next? Because... I'm human, and I see them as human first. I took a picture at Port Novo on my Instagram page. It went everywhere, and people were like, oh, when I was going to 
and in the morning it was around 3 a.m i do my works are always i love working at night because inspiration comes i said something people asked me when they saw the photograph of the man they said is he mad i said he's not mad i said he's human so you have to be sincere with yourself so if there's any take away i want everybody to have in this room very simple i'm sorry for the organizer organizers if i break any third rules but what next you just have to follow the light and the light is that passion in you the light is that light in you that the world needs to see because they said no matter how far it may come or no matter how far it may be the world will celebrate you one day they won't celebrate you because of what the society had forced you to become but they will celebrate you because of your light you decided and you committed yourself to follow thank you